If you are new to digital art, it's only fair to ask which drawing software and tools would be the best for you. I too had questions like that when I started my digital art journey. I spent days and months trying to figure out which would be the best for me. Then I came across Clip Studio Paint, which has been my favorite ever since. In this video, I will share some features that I like and use the most in Clip Studio Paint, so let's get to it. Clip Studio Paint is widely used by manga artists because of the built-in manga tools. You can simply enter these panels to your canvas and use them. They're individual boxes, so you can customize them as you wish. Clip Studio Paint's text tool make it easy to add text to your manga pages. Clip Studio Paint is well known for its 3D features. You can enter this figure onto your canvas and move it around to customize an expressive pose. Using 3D model is really time efficient when you need to get things done in a time frame. The Clip Studio Access Store is where users can purchase and download access including brushes, 3D models, backgrounds, templates, and more. If there's a specific brush that you want to find, you can enter in the search bar and see the options that you can download. You can also find more 3D models if you want to extend beyond the built-in ones. I normally use a brush to get a very raw idea of my drawings. When I have a raw sketch, I reduce the opacity of the layer and create a new layer to draw more defined lines. For final line art, I use horse oil brush because I like the texture it gives to the lines and you can download it in Clip Studio Exits. When I finally have the complete line art, I use selection tool to fill in the base colors. Then I use paintbrush to paint skin and clothing layer after layer. I also use selection tool when I need to paint smaller areas. I hope this video was a helpful guide to Clip Studio Paint and your digital art journey. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.